Do you struggle to read even one book a month? Now I'll show you how I went from not reading at all and hating reading to now reading a book in one day. I call it effective reading. Reading quickly but getting as much out of the book as I can and as I need to. My own approach to effective reading is 7 simple steps that you can do as well. So the first step is actually to find the books you love. I never read science fiction or history, for example, because it's not my piece of cake. That's why I never enjoyed anything you will read in school. My independent reading is only non-fiction like psychology, self-help and business. But how to find what works for you? The trick is simple. Stop thinking and start trying. You will never know whether you like that book or that genre unless you read even one page. The first book I have ever read myself was Miracle Morning, then Dale Carnegie and so on. This was actually four years ago. No, I didn't read a book a day then, rather a book a year. But somehow, when I would pick up a book, I would be more and more engaged in what I was reading. And little by little, I started to love reading. But listen, love to reading isn't something you are born with. It is a skill that you can practice every day. But how to make reading your habit? I found that James Clear's approach to habit formation is one of the best ones and I create habits according to his philosophy. And what he talks about in his book Atomic Habits is that you need to make the habit attractive. If you don't like reading, then something bothers you. Either you don't like the book or you simply don't have the perfect place and time to read. I mean, it shouldn't be perfect, but it should be something that you're comfortable staying in. For example, I don't like reading at my desk. On the other hand, I really like reading in bed. That's why I tried a 30-day challenge of reading in bed even for 10 minutes and I found this place and format of reading digital books on my iPad the best attractive things that work for me. And I encourage you to do the same and experiment with different approaches to this habit. You can create several such places and times. For example, aside reading in bed, I really like reading in my car while going on road trips to other cities. On such road trips that last for at least five hours, I can read up to three books in one day. But guys, no one is perfect. And for making reading my habit, I needed years. You obviously might need a lot less, but not less than a month. You need to discipline and train your brain that you are not just reading one book occasionally. You are a reader. It's your personality. It's something that you do as a lifestyle. Again, Atomic Habits suggests that it's really hard to implement the habit of reading if you constantly view yourself as a non-reader. You need to gradually break the habit of thinking that you hate reading. You need to break this belief. It's natural for you to read, you should think. You are a reader and it's your lifestyle. Make it easy for your brain to engage in the habit of reading. And it's the second point from the book Atomic Habits of how to implement good habits into your life. And by easy I mean just start reading with one page a day. It's really that simple and it's much better than nothing. The third tip is skimming books. If you are a non-fiction reader, it's very welcome to skim. And I do it all the time. In fact, it is a big part of reading a book in one day. Just think, I don't know why you read books, but I read them to implement the knowledge and insights in my life. So if the book does not teach me anything or does not apply to my life, why should I even read it? I don't read books which are boring. In fact, I've read so many self-help books already that more often than not they get so repetitive. They all tell and retell the same thing over and over again. In this case, I'll skip one part of the book or even say goodbye to it. Again, in order to read a book in one day, you need to read effectively. 
For me, this means that most of the books I encounter are not worth reading from cover to cover. There are sometimes books, every word in which is worth reading, but it rarely happens, trust me. 5. Take notes. Because you not only need to read fast, you also need to remember what you read. And by far the best way to do it is taking notes. I often take screenshots of quotes from the book I read and write out things by hand that make me reflect on something. Remember, if you spend some time taking notes from the book, it will not go wasted. It will be stored in your memory and you will be more likely to apply it in your life. I take different kinds of notes. Some are quick and some are not. When I read in Kindle, I just highlight the things that stand out to me and that I want to remember. When I read PDFs, I capture my screen and place all this information inside a different notebook in good notes. But sometimes I take notes by hand and even on paper, not on my iPad. Why? I found that writing by hand makes me memorize much more. And also when I write out reflective questions, it makes me think more mindfully about the answers to them when I write by hand. 6. Forget about your phone or other distractions while reading. Reading is often boring. Even if the book is great, you need a lot of focus in order to read quickly and effectively. I actually always neglected this rule of putting down my phone as far as I can, because I thought that I'm disciplined enough and I will not look at my notifications, because I've turned off notifications. And I am not disciplined at all. And chances are, you are also not. Because our brains want the best for us, and sometimes, most of the time, it is the easiest thing to do, the most comfortable one. For example, scrolling through your phone, rather than reading that boring book. And the last tip is stock up many books at once. I personally always do it since I read digital books. In my digital library, both on Kindle and in my PDF library, which I store in GoodNotes app, and having them already prepared, making them easily accessible, helps me read more, of course. And with this method, I avoid excuses like this book is boring, I'll do something else and I'll read someday. So these were all my simple tricks that I personally used to get to the point when I can read a whole book of 300 pages in one day. But remember, guys, it is including skimming. So the most important thing is to enjoy reading and to get what you want out of reading. And tell me in the comments what you guys read most often. What genre? See you in the next video.